Hey guys and welcome back to my reading journey. Today I'm just gonna quickly finish the compliments of this season. The story I said you got but as you go. It's gonna be the last part and yeah let me just quickly do that. He followed James to the door. He paused there as a flunker, flunky, flunky, drew open the great mahogany, mahogany portal for him to pass into the west pool. Beyond the growth iron gates in the dark highway, Blake Riley and his two pals casually strolled, casually sto strolled, fingering under their coats. The inevitably, in inevitably, fatal weapons. Inevitably, fatal weapons that were no, that were to make the reward of the ragdoll theirs. Fuzzy stopped at the millionaire's door, and bethrow, bethrow himself like little springs of miss. Missile toy, missile toy, on the deed tree, certain living green, throw the and thoughts and memories began to decorate his confused mind. He was quite drunk, mind you, and the present was beginning to fade. Those reds, reds. And festoons, festoons of holly with their scarlet berries making the great hall gay. Where had he seen such things before? Somewhere he had known Polish floors and odors of fresh flowers in winter end. And someone was singing a song in the house that he thought he had heard before. Someone was singing and playing a harp. Of course, it was Christmas. Fuzzy thought he must have been pretty drunk to have overlooked that. And then he went over, went out to the present and there came back to the to him out of some impossible vanished in and irrevocable, irrevocable past a little, pure white, transient, forgotten ghost. The spirit of noblesse obli. Noblesse obli. Upon a gentleman, certain things be the wall. The wall. James opened the outer door. A stream of lively went down the graveled walk to, to the iron gate. Graveled. Let's mark this word. Blake Riley, McCarthy, and one year Mike so and carelessly drew their sinister, sinister, sinister cordon closer about the gate with a more imperious gesture than James Master had ever uh, used or ever could use. Fuzzy comp compelled. The manual compelled the manual to close the door upon a gentleman. Certain things do wall, especially at the Christmas season. It is cust customary, customary, he said to James. The flustered, flustered, flustered. When a gentleman calls on Christmas Eve to pass the compliments of the season with the lady of the house. You understand I shall not move step 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 till I pass compliment season with lady the house. Understand? There was an agreement. James lost. Fuzzy raised his voice and sent it through the house unpleasantly. I didn't say he was a gentleman. He was simply a trump being visited by a host. A sterling silver bell rang 
James went back to an answer to answer it, leaving Fuzzy in the hall. James explained somewhere to someone. Then he came and conducted Fuzzy into the library. The lady entered a moment later. She was more beautiful and something about a doll. Fuzzy didn't understand that. He remembered nothing about a doll. A footman brought into two gla glasses of sparkling wine on a stamped sterling silver water. The lady looked. The lady took one. The other was handed to Fuzzy. Fuzzy. As his fingers closed to the slender glass stem, his disabilities dropped from him for one brief moment. He straightened himself. Straightened himself. And time. So. So disabling, disabling, to most of us, turn but what to accommodate Fuzzy, a forgotten Christmas ghost, whiter than the false beards of the most opulent, opulent. Chris Kringle were rising in the, in the fumes of Grogan's whiskey. What had the millionaire's mansion to do with the long why Wayne scouted Wayne scouted Virginia Hall was the readers riders were grouped around a silver punch bowl drinking an ancient toast of the house and why should the potter 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 of the car cab horses hooves of the frozen street be in anywhere anyways related to the sound of this saddled hundred stamping under the shelter of the west ver ver veranda and what had fuzzy to do with any of it the lady looking at him over her glass let her condense condense send condescending Smile fate, condensating smile fate away like a false dawn. Her eyes turned serious. She saw something beneath the rugs and Scottish terrier whiskers that she did not understand. But it did not matter. Fuzzy lifted his glass and smiled vacantly. Vacantly. Pardon, lady, he said, but couldn't live. Couldn't live without a exchanging compliments season with lady the 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 house gains principal gentlemen so do show and then he began to answer began the ancient situation that was a tradition in the house when men wore lace riffles and powder the bless blessings of another year whose memory failed Fuzzy's memory failed him. The lady prompt, be upon the hearth, hearth, hearth. The guest stammered, Fuzzy, and upon her who continued the lady with a leading smile. Oh, cut it out, said Fuzzy, immanerably, immanerably. Immorality. I can't remember. Drink heartily. Fuzzy had shot his arrow. They drank. The lady smiled again. The smile of her cast casty. Casty. James enveloped Fuzzy and re reconducted him toward the front door. The harp music still softly drifted, drifted through the house. Outside, Blake Riley breathed, breathed on his cold hands and hugged the gate. I wonder, said the lady to her, herself, musing, musing, who, but there were so many who came. I wonder whether memory 
is a curse or a blessing to them after they have fallen so low. Fuzi and Fuzi and his escort were neatly at the door. The lady called James. James talked back obsequiously, obsequiously, leaving Fuzi waiting unsteadily with his brief spark of the divine fire gone. Outside, Blake Crowley stamped his cut feet and got a firmer grip on the, his section of gas pipe. You will conduct this gent gentleman, said the lady downstairs. Then tell Louis to get out the Mercedes and take him to whatever place he, wished, he wishes to go. Alright guys, thank you for listening to me today and see you tomorrow. Bye.